I don't know about you, but I love the word serendipity. It is one of those wonderfully synesthetic words, like itch, that really sound like what they mean. Unlike itch, though, serendipity's meaning is very powerful and providential. It is not just about happy and beneficial happenstance. Its name also hints at the fact that an understanding of serendipity is the key to serenity. There are depths to serendipity, and if we can understand them, we can learn to allow her to be the loving and faithful servant that she very much wants to be. In previous videos, I have stated the very important fact that everything in the universe is organized via what I call the cycle of the evolution of life, only one manifestation of which is the zodiac. When we truly grasp an understanding that the cycle organizes and arranges every happenstance with perfect mathematical precision, aligning every moment with our heart's desire, we know that everything is serendipity. Hang on a minute, you might say. How can everything in every moment be serendipitous when there is also grief in the world? The answer is that grief is always serendipity in disguise. Our task is to see through her disguise and thus accept the blessings she is currently serving up. Because the cycle is about deepening truth and love, the blessings of serendipity always come in the form of a revelation of truth. Sometimes those truths are painful. Sometimes they are so painful that we shy away from them. Yet when we do so, we only lay up more grief for ourselves. That is what grief is, an argument with serendipity. She is only trying to liberate and empower us. She keeps presenting us with evidence, and we keep batting it away. We are effectively saying, no thanks, I'd rather have my suffering instead. There always comes a time when we are ready to see a painful truth, and thereby heal our suffering. Such times are grievous healing crises. Yet grief is indeed good when we know how to grieve properly and are not afraid to see the true face of serendipity. That is what faith is all about, the courage to see truth no matter how painful it is. At the winter solstice of 2012, we stepped into a new age of responsible self-determination. To facilitate that freedom, Pluto in Capricorn is exposing some very painful and fearsome truths about how those in authority have abused our trust on a massive scale. To allow serendipity to bless us with a new world of peace, prosperity and freedom, we are required to see these truths and weather the stormy feelings they evoke. Are we going to continue to cower in poisonous subjugation, or do we have the courage to see the shocking truth that is in our faces? Such is the faith to move mountains. That is all for now. Thank you for your attention.